Hey guys, this is Teresa from Simply Made Fun, and today we're making gift tags with the print and cut feature on the Silhouette machine. Okay, so once you have your design um, and your software, come up to your page settings because we have to change the page size so that it will fit through our printer. So let's go down to 8.5 by 11 and then hit show print border and show cut border. And now we have to use registration marks, which are what the silhouette uses to find where to start cutting your design um, in the software. So we'll hit type one. Um, I like bringing the length as far left as it'll go, the thickness all the way up, and then inset all the way down. Doing this means that I won't waste any paper um, because if you just leave it on the default size, you're gonna have a lot of empty white space and a lot of extra um, paper when you go to print and cut. And so I don't like to waste any of my materials, so I like maximizing the amount of space I have. Okay, now you're going to want to um, duplicate your design all along the page. So come over to the replicate panel and hit fill page. All right, and then you'll notice my top row is on this checkered background. And if you have your design on that background, it actually won't print or cut up there. So. I always like bringing it down so it's on the white background. And then if you notice, my bottom row is actually on top of the print line, which is the gray line. And so I want to move that up to make sure that it prints the entire bottom row. Once you fix all of that, you come over to print and send your design to the printer. And then once it's done printing, you will load it onto your silhouette mat. I'm using the Cameo, so it's a 12 by 12. Make sure that your paper, when you load it on the mat, looks exactly like it does on the screen. Once you have all that ready to go, come over to send. Make sure that the only parts that are highlighted in red are the outside of your designs and then the little circle here which is where you'll put your string or ribbon to attach these tags to your gifts. Um, if any of the text or your little design down here are in red, um, it means that it will cut that as well and you don't want that to cut. So um, make sure that it's all around the edge. Come over to material and make sure you have cardstock plain. Um, and then make sure that you have selected the right blade. I use the auto blade. And then you'll come down to send, hit send, and it will cut out on your silhouette. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will link to the blog post where I'm offering this free file, and I will also link up the fonts that I used for these tags. They were free online, um, so you can use them for any personal Halloween project that you have going on. All right, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.